Hi, welcome to the Center of Maths Problem of the Week. This week our problem is prove Pasch's postulate as a theorem. Moritz Pasch is a German mathematician who was born November 8, 1843. So he's actually, today would be his 175th birthday. Um, he specialized in the foundations of geometry and he's most remembered for his axiom which says that let A, B, and C be distinct non-collinear points, and let L be any line segment in the plane ABC, which does not meet any of the points A, B, or C. If the line L intersects the segment AB, then it also intersects segment AC or segment BC. Um, a more informal way of saying this is that we have a triangle and a line meet, passes through one of the sides and it has to meet another side. We have, we do, we have our triangle, three points, non-collinear points, A, B, and C. We drew the line that passes through A, B, um, and then it either intersects B, C, or A, C, and we're going to prove it. So first you want to notice that L divides plane ABC into two distinct half planes and we'll name these half planes. So this will be H1 and H2. Um, and then since L passes through AB at an interior point, it, A and B are in two, are in two different planes. They're not in the same ones. And we're going to let A be in H1 and B be in H2. And then depending on how the line goes, C is in either in H1 or in H2. So when we have an OR statement, this is when we break into cases. So for the first case, we're going to assume that C is an H1, which we, is this side. And if C is an H1 and A is an H1, then they're on the same side of L. So C, so L does not intersect the segment AC. So C is an H1 and B is an H2. And they're in opposite sides of L, so, and therefore L intersects segment BC. And that's this case one. And then we'll go on to case two, which we're going to assume that C is an H2. For, for case two, we said that C is an H2. So since C is an H2, and we know that B is an H2, they're on the same side of L, so L does not intersect the segment BC. And then we have C is an H2 and A is an H1, and they're on opposite sides of the line L, and so it does intersect the segment AC. Now, and now we've proved both cases. And we can conclude that the line L intersects segment AC or BC. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our blog, check out centerofmath.org, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.